What's up everybody? Uh, as you see, I don't have my Vizio anymore. I returned that like the next week. Um, as many people should know, the PlayStation Network was down and I wasn't able to test it with games. And as soon as it came back up, I loaded up a game, uh, tried to play it online and there was so much input lag, there was like not even no point even trying to play the game anymore. And it wasn't just that one game. I tried it with multiple games, and it just wasn't it wasn't working. So <laughs> it, was, it was like lagging horribly. Like I would move one way, and it would like take like a, a second for it to even pick up that I moved. So <clears throat> and like FPS shooters and stuff like that. Everybody should know. Well, everybody that plays those type of games should know that that's really horrible. <laughs> Like if you're playing online and that split second really does count. So I took that back and I ordered this TV the 17th. Got it yesterday. Um, overnight shipping from Amazon for $650. Um, what about Amazon Prime? I got it, um, it was $4 for the next day shipping. So, um, yeah. If you get something from Amazon, make sure you use the Amazon Prime and you'll be good to go. Free two day shipping. One day shipping is four dollars. And if I didn't get Amazon Prime, it would have been like sixty dollars to ship the next day. And I wanted it the next day, so <laughs> so uh, yeah, I picked this thing up. Um it's the Samsung I mean I said Samsung. Sony Bravia, um KDL uh thirty two EX523, I memorized that, <laughs> I really did, <laughs> and um, it's a 32 inch, like, and it's this internet connected and all that stuff like that, it's basically like this, it has a whole bunch of the same features that the Vizio had, but um, just no 3D, and I'd rather have no 3D with a smaller set than uh, having 3D and my games lag horribly. So let's cut it on. Got it yesterday. Set it up everything, play with it. Right now it's on a get this light off. It's on Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> and I do have a HD Comcast box. So, this is an HD right now. Oh yeah, and you can like play stuff no off the uh, USB. Oh no, stop! <laughs> uh, no. I was about to click on that button. So you got the home. I mean, hit the home button on the remote. I can't even see. But, so you hit the home button on the remote, and this menu pops up. So you got the inputs, you got the media, this is the USB, like this is all the stuff that will be on the USB music videos or photos. So that's really cool. You can just watch it right off of the USB. Usually I had to plug it into the PlayStation and stuff like that. Now I can just go straight to the TV. Don't have to turn on my PlayStation. Wasting more electricity from having on both things. Um, the TV guide, stuff like that, that is built into it. That's really if you just have it connected directly from the cable line and you don't have like a cable box that will have um, let me turn this down. They'll have uh, their own guides and stuff for you. Um, recommendations. Internet connection. So you have vi uh, Amazon Video On Demand, Hulu Plus, Netflix, Pandora, YouTube, and more stuff if you go into here. Um, got a curiosity, but this is down still, I guess. Because when I click on it, you can't even go in there. Um, you can use Skype with this TV, but you need like a built-in, I mean not built-in, like a separate uh, video and microphone. Um, I didn't even look it up and see how much it costs or anything, like I really, I don't care. <laughs> I really don't plan on using it like that. And they have a full uh, web browser, which really isn't that good. Because um, you don't have a mouse and keyboard or anything. But uh, there is something... Another feature I'll get to in a second. Settings, yeah, favorites, 
and we're back to the inputs. Okay, so one of those things like I was saying, if you have, I mean, if you go on like YouTube or anything like that, it's really hard to put in what you're looking for. You know. Um, YouTube. So, you would have to like go through all this hassle of going through one by one, pressing left to right. But on Android phones and iPhones and stuff like that, there's a remote. There's a media remote. So, all you have to do is just use your phone and it will do anything for it. So, you can use the keyboard on your phone, type in. I don't know. Just put in anything. And then it comes up on the TV. You press search. I don't even know what I was looking for. I just put it in the way. <laughs> and see what happens. So, Rihanna, Eminem. Love the way you lie. Okay. Um, so, yeah, the home button is basically the same thing on the remote. I uh, can go like that. Slide get all the features of the remote and this thing right here so this feature is coming soon so I don't know about that also it has a Bravia sync and stuff like that so it can just go directly to like other Sony devices like I have my PlayStation already loaded up with a LA Noir. Nice music. I never got to play it yet. I'm about to play it right now for the first time. But you can use this remote also as like a media remote if you don't have the if you don't have the Sony remote for the PlayStation 3, which I already have, but it's too late. Mm -hmm. So I'm about to play this game right now. Like it, it, seeing the commercials for it, it looks so cool. Like the the world, it looks so, so real life. Like all the features in the in the guy's face when he's complaining and stuff. Like it looked just so real. And can't wait to play it. Also, some other features with this TV has like proximity sensors and stuff like that. So, um, well, not proximity, but it, it can tell if you're in the room or not. And if you're not moving, then it'll like turn off the screen and it'll have just sound. And then it will um, shut off completely after like 30 minutes or however long you want to set it to. And there's ambient light sensors and stuff in the TV to uh, tell like as soon as I turn on the light, like the light, I mean, the black lights on the screen dims or it brightens if I turn the lights on or off. So that's really cool. And, um, so let me show you right now the profile of it. Modern Warfare 2, I mean, I'll set to Modern Warfare 3 poster. Picked that up from GameStop. Yeah, you see how thin this thing is? Oh, the wires hooked up back there, you probably can't see really. Let me get a light. You can really see. So there's the USB connection, there's two right there. There's one already plugged in there, two. Another HDMI on the side. PC inputs, three HDMIs right there, component cables, Ethernet right there, and uh, some other RCA inputs right there on the side too. On the other side, You have all of these, sorry for the bad angles, I gotta hold the camera like this because it is on the tripod too. Um, the power buttons, uh, the channel up and down, the volume, and the input in the home button. That's <laughs> my dirty uh, surround sound speaker. Should clean it off, but there you go. I am, let me see you. Right there, those are the sensors I was, I was talking about. One is the 
uh, ambient light sensor, one is the other sensor for uh, movement and stuff like that. Uh, one's with the power light, the standby, and um, I don't even know what the other one is. So, put that down real quick. Yeah, uh, start the game up a little quick so uh, you can see a little bit of what it looks like. This is my first time even looking at it. As I say once again, like the thousandth time. <laughs> sucks because it comes with extra stuff in it that you can download but the PlayStation Store isn't even up right now. That sucks. Looks really cool, cool loading screen. So, it's a little bit of it right there. I'm going to cut the video right here. Uh, I'm about to get into this game. And um, I might put a, a Modern Warfare 2 footage or something like that right after this. So, I don't know. That's if I feel up to it. I feel like doing that. Just to show you uh, how much lag there is and stuff like that. There's really no lag at all. This TV is. It's, it's uh, six, uh, I looked it up and it said 6 uh, milliseconds with a refresh rate and um you know i call it so they said between four and eight and i looked it up it said six so <laughs> that really is what's between four and eight so <laughs> uh yeah so that's really like the best point that you want to be like you want to be the lowest like the lowest is probably like two is what you're going to get that's probably like really higher end tvs and stuff like that and I don't know, I couldn't even find one with two. It doesn't even matter really. Because my last one had eight and that was perfect. So this one has six or around around that. I found no input lag really at all, so thanks guys for watching. Might be my one for two stuff after this. So I don't know. Maybe black screen. I mean just comment really subscribe anyway. And uh thank you. Stay tuned for more stuff. And, uh, peace. Two fingers. Allez, <laughs> noir!